So I think it was either freshman year or sophomore year of high school, I had this crazy idea to make a movie about Freddy versus Jigsaw versus Jason. Yeah, that actually happened. At the time I was discussing the idea with Jacob and and uh, he was on board for it and so was Colton and Connor. Connor was initially going to play Jigsaw but then it kind of switched between Colton and Connor and they couldn't decide so we're just like, oh, okay, well, whatever happens. And he's wearing a hood anyways, you never see his face, it didn't really matter. I'm not even sure what I was thinking. I, I, I know what I was thinking, but you don't really see when you're making a movie, you don't really realize it's going to be bad until after you watch it years after you made it. So that's why we never even really finished the movie. It just it was going downhill. But initially, the idea was to make a more realistic version of Freddy and Jason and Jigsaw, believe it or not. Uh, even though it didn't really turn out that way necessarily, um, I wanted to make it to where Freddy, you know, his, his burns are more realistic looking like they're more terrifying in that sense they're not just holes in the skin but they're like like burn victim burns like fresh too um and so the mega process that was really interesting uh, the first time we ever did anything like that with the ball cap and this is behind the scenes videos you can watch it was a long process two three hours but you know it paid off it looked really cool but sadly the story didn't really play through see the story was going to be so I'm trying to jog my memory here. It was going to be like Freddy and Jason were childhood friends. And for some reason, that was the initial story that changed. But for some reason, Jason somehow caught Freddy on fire. I don't even know how that works. Anyways. And Freddy got mad at Jason for doing that because he's deformed afterwards. So he's like a grudge there. That's why they hate each other. That's why they want to fight. And then when they get older, Jigsaw comes in the mix, and he's like, y'all two are bad, so I'm gonna put some traps on y'all, teach y'all a lesson, the meaning of life, that kind of thing. It didn't really turn out like that at all, actually. It changed a lot. As a matter of fact, it turned to a gas station explosion that caused Freddy's burns. Problems with FJJ, or Freddy vs. Jigsaw vs. Jason. So, the story, there's a, the story's just, I don't even know how to, it's just, it's not really there, to be honest. It's not fully developed. Like, the plot is just... Because there's not much dialogue, you don't even really get to know the characters at all. And the only characters are Freddy, Jigsaw, and Jason, so... There's no, like, people you can relate to, really, if you think about it. The characters aren't fleshed out, they just kind of things just, like, happen, like, the explosion happened, that's the very first scene, and then... And then all of a sudden you're jumping into the forest where Freddy's, you know, going after Jason, and... There's no explanation. It's just kind of like Jason winds up in the forest, and then they fight. And you're not really sure why they're fighting, other than Freddy got burned. But the thing is, Freddy got burned in the gas station explosion. But how would Freddy even know Jason caused it? And you know, it just doesn't really make sense. The the plot points don't really connect very well. So there's issues there. And the dialogue's kind of cheesy. Freddy's like, "Look what you did to me!" And there's like, yeah, dialogue wasn't very good back then. Matter of fact, there was hardly any dialogue in the entire film. The original ending of FJJ included Jigsaw having Freddy and Jason in their traps. The, after Freddy, uh, he somehow finds a way to escape the burn trap, which is like flame that was like on him. And then Jason somehow manages to escape the water trap, which is supposed to drown him in like a tank. So they're both escaped. Um, they're fighting to the death. Jigsaw comes in and starts fighting with his uh, sword thing that we bought, that we never even used. Um, they all, all three of them are fighting in this clash and you know, conflict. And, um, Somehow, I can't remember what happens, but Freddy and Jason, they're like almost dead. They're basically lying on the ground, you know, bleeding out. And Jigsaw, he goes to some type of table or something. He has some type of idea where he sees a picture of his wife or something. He gets emotional, it's a flashback or something like that. Anyways, at the end of the film, Freddy has the mask, the reverse bear trap mask on him. And Jigsaw's giving a speech, his classic speech on the tape player. They want to play a game. And then saying something about um, he knew that Freddy killed his wife, not Jason. So it turned into some type of. It was supposed to be like a big reveal, plot reveal, that twist thing that you didn't know was coming. We never got to that at all. As a matter of fact, we stopped after the second fight, and after Jigsaw dragged Jason, I mean, dragged um, Freddy away. So yeah, we didn't. We filmed. It's funny because we filmed the trap scenes with Jason and Freddy. Actually, no, we didn't even film Freddy's, we just filmed Jason's. And I haven't even released that yet. It's very graphic. So, there's a lot of fake blood wasted that we never 
ended up using the seams. So it happens. That's that's what happens in the filmmaking business. So that original ending did not happen. As a matter of fact, I just ended up compiling a whole bunch of extra footage, leftover footage that I had, even footage from other films, and then called that part three, uh, the true story or something like that. And because I just felt like I needed to wrap it up. Overall, I give my film FJJ. I'd say 2.5. You know, because the makeup, we worked really hard on that and it was convincing enough. But the story was just, you know, transparent. <laughs> and dialogue was 15% of the whole movie. So, probably even less than that. So, that's my rating. Let me know if you want to do more views on real films or my films. Subscribe, comment below, do whatever you want. Thanks for watching.